Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm just going to do an update for you on Safe Haven and, and take a look at um, Swipe as well. So um, as you can see we we did get a bit of a, a fall, a bit of a sell off and I did actually call it, um, if you look at the last video I said that if we did fall under this level, um, this, this final um, line of support here then I would have expected it to come all the way back down here. It almost made it down there and I haven't, this is the first time I've looked at the chart. Um, since um, yesterday evening and I've noticed that it has actually got that fall um, I did anticipate it happening over here so I managed to get out all right because the ball flag um, this flag wasn't playing out uh, the way I expected all right so I did get out of my position as soon as I saw it go back under this line obviously it did get a little bit of a recovery and failed to break out and you've seen it fall now and it is wicking all the way back up so there is a lot of buyers down here uh, which is uh, expected all right i've actually missed it i would have liked to have put in a position down there but um you know i've been out with the wife and the family at church this morning so i haven't been watching the charts uh but you know that's how it goes sometimes sometimes you miss the opportunities i'm not going to farm in now but if we do see this candle close green obviously we would see like a dragonfly doji to the upside potentially it's a bullish reversal pattern oh that candle has actually just closed on the four hour actually and um bullish sign bullish sign but at this point i'd rather wait and see what happens uh, to be honest i won't be taking any positions on this at the moment um it is good that it has recovered back up let's just get rid of these lines all right let's get rid of that get rid of that so we can see a bit more clearly all right you've got this line which is the support line and it is it has um, been brought back up back over that support so you know will it continue up now it's probable that it will but we'll just have to wait and see what happens this would have been a great position to get in guys to buy up that week and just to see it bought straight back up back, uh, straight back up that is actually um like a 60 percent move in itself guys so that would have been great to put a quick position in there um if you did um you, you know you could have been putting buy orders in um i probably wouldn't have got in anyway because i would have been putting my buy orders down there but uh, yeah, it is what it is, guys. Um, that's safe haven. More upside to come potentially. We'll have to wait and see. Um, or will it just like kind of fail and come back down and bring itself back to the downside? All right. Uh, on swipe SXP now. Okay. Um, we have seen that it did come down and test this support. Are we going to get the bounce that we're looking for? It is trying at the moment or let's lower the time frame so we can have a proper look shall we it is trying to get a bounce here uh, it would be nice if it did and we'll break up to the upside um at the moment i've actually uh i'm waiting to see what's going to happen now to be honest uh, but if we do get the bounce off this support uh it, it's actually a good time to buy right now potentially but if we do get a bounce off this support and we take out that high over there that's definitely a buy zone um, uh, when you, once you see the breakout at that level. I'll just mark that out for you so you can see that a little bit more. Clearly, that's our new resistance uh, level, and that's where we want to see it breaking out of. All right, so it might trade between this zone for a while, even who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that's what I'm looking at here. Obviously, we would need to see a bullish MACD cross. On the four hour, we'd need to see that curl up with the momentum to the upside. The RSI would need to curl up and do a U shape to the upside as well. Um, if we look at the accumulative swing uh, on the four hour, all right. Um, obviously, you can see that it did get a big curve up. It does look like it's curving around. You could get a swing up to the upside, that would be nice. So, yeah, guys, uh, it's just a quick one. Um, yeah, safe haven is definitely uh, safe haven. I avoided a bit of a disaster there, but even, even if I did stay in, it would have only just got bought back up anyway. So, uh, you know, maybe there was nothing to worry about in the first place. But there's no guarantees in this game, guys. You know, there was no guarantee that this was going to get bought back up. That is a big, long wick 
you know, if you look at the long whip theory, obviously that would be a bullish sign, you know, if it's bought all the way back up there, that would indicate that it's, it's probably going to see a move to the upside, could just be a big shakeout, gets bought back up and then it goes to the moon, but who knows, we'll have to wait and see, like I said, uh, yeah. Uh, nothing more I can really say to you about that, guys, to be honest. Um, I mean, let's see how quickly that happened, actually. We got on the one hour. Of, obviously, you can see that within four hours it got brought back up. Um, right, yeah, so within the hour it got brought back up, guys. That's definitely. Uh, and now you can see, you know, one, two, three green candles. Um, that one's obviously not closed yet. That's a new one, but yeah, could see potentially. Uh, one, two, and three, but it'd be a very small shoulder, but it could potentially be a head and shoulders pattern to the upside. Um, don't quote me on that. Like I say, we'll have to wait and see how it plays out, but yeah, that's safe haven, and it's definitely, uh, you know, definitely, uh, that definitely would have scared um, a few guys, um, that price action there. All right, so it's just a quick one, because I've just walked in the door, and uh, time to make me a nice cup of tea and you know chill and relax with the family for a little bit but yeah if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do let me know what you think in the comments guys leave a like on the video as well and i guess i'll see you again in the next one